Hello traders, my name is Ray, better known as Samurai Trader and I love day trading. My job is to teach you how to day trade the world's best day trading strategies, no matter which market you trade, futures, forex or stocks. Before we get underway, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all of my latest videos by clicking on the subscribe button below. Now, if you're a new trader, if you've struggled up till now, as I go through the charts and point out potential trading opportunities, I really recommend that you focus on trend trading only. I have over 9,000 traders and 200 that attend my weekly coaching classes. And I'm constantly reminding them of the importance of mastering the art of trend trading before you move on to divergence trading, no matter how simple I make it look. It's very, very important. Now, in today's session, we're going to be looking at how we scalp, day trade, and pick up the home runs with Renko charts. If we get a chance, depending on time, I try to limit these videos to 30 minutes. I'll show you how I incorporate tick charts with Renko charts because I'll be constantly reviewing my tick charts at the same time. Renko charts are wonderful as they smooth out price action, but at times they can also hide some valuable information. So for an example, if I have a really strong trend, I may not have a re-entry position pop up with Renko, but with tick I will. So either we look at that today in this session or an upcoming session. Now, please remember what I cover here, you can apply to any market, no matter which futures market you, you trade, Forex or stocks, exactly the same rules and principles apply. Now, as we do move on, I do need to pull up a disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. As you'll be watching the recording, please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer. And a very, very quick advertisement, uh, please visit my website or click on the link below to download my free training manual. I've already mentioned, please subscribe. Everything I show you here, you can obtain for $197 is over 200 hours of recordings, dozens of different types of indicators. Uh, for TradeStation, Ninja Trader, Ninja Trader 8, MT4 and Think or Swim. Oh, and let me just say, when I say dozens, my members have provided a lot of additional indicators that I personally don't use. So all of those are included in the members area. And make no mistake, traders, this is a $10,000 program. And also at this stage, at the moment, I've got a special running for a limited time. You can also attend eight of my live coaching sessions, which run for two hours, a little over two hours usually. They are recorded. They run 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Tuesday and Wednesday evening, Eastern Standard Time, USA time. Uh, and you'll find that uh, if you want to continue, as uh, many traders do, and some of my traders have been with me now for over three years in my live coaching sessions, because as they recognize, every good trader needs a coach. It's only $97 a month if you wish to continue after your first month. So let's now move on. The first thing, and you probably, if you're familiar with my work, know I talk about targets regularly. It's so important that you have a target, that you have a goal. You know, and as I state here, everyone wants to see the view from the top of the mountain, but few are willing to do the work required to get to the top. Setting your trading goals and objectives is really the first step in your trading journal. From there, once you've got an idea on your income, we'll then break it down which setups, which time frames, which markets best suit your personality, etc. So it's so important though that you have a financial goal. And I just want to quickly show you this. This is very, very important. As a member, you get this spreadsheet. In today's session, we're going to be focused on the ES. And what is so important is risk management, money management. We never, ever, ever risk more than 2% of your total capital. And as your capital uh, increases, as you trade more contracts, you want to lower that over a period of time down to 1% down to 0.5%. I guarantee you it'll make trading so much easier. So let me just show you the power of this. And what's so important is that 
you double your money before you start trading additional contracts one of the fatal mistakes that traders make they start making money and they immediately add additional contracts and they have a few losses their capital drops back down and this goes backwards and forwards one step forward two back two forward one back and it's a very slow climb what you want to do is build your confidence and competence so let's just say here with the ES now if we had say let's just use a, a, a say $100 stop loss which is eight ticks a 2% uh, maximum rule would mean you'd need to have $5,000 in your account let's make it 6,000 the reason you always add additional funds you want to have a little bit of a buffer there so you've got some particularly when you first start trading now let's also take this over here and say that you're netting on average $200 a day and I'll show you how we do that very shortly and if you're trading or I may as well say this if you're trading uh, say with a six tick target uh, you'd need after commissions around 2.9 net trades a day uh, so what this tells us is this we have the potential within 18 weeks to be earning ten thousand dollars a week on the basis we're earning 200 a day which is a thousand a week as soon as we build that account to six thousand we start trading two contracts then we start trading three every time we we have an additional six thousand in our account we start trading an additional contract a very sensible conservative approach to building your account now if you're say trading during the New York hours where you're going to have much uh, higher volume there's a lot more trading opportunities and based upon 300 a day okay you're going to you have a potential of being up there within 11 weeks for those that are really the top guns 400 oh whoops we'll just take one extra order not off that uh, here within eight weeks this is a true potential now the real question now is how do we do that so I want to give you the logic the sound logic behind what I'm about to show you we're going to be using as you'll see between two and three different charts this is the logic of trend trading and if we look at this um, um, the first law of motion uh, where an object either remains at rest or continues to move at a constant velocity unless attracted by or acted upon by an external force by the way traders these videos are all real and unedited if I fluff anything up you'll have to forgive me so what this means is that by trading in the direction of a higher time frame our lower time frame is going to breathe we're going to have profit takers those that um, try to reverse the market the amateurs etc but we're always trading in the direction of the higher time frame so what this means is we're waiting for retracements or pullbacks then we have a trend continuation retracement pullbacks trend continuation then we'll have our golden divergence trades which I'll show you now this is the true secret now anyone that tells you differently is not a serious trader and there's also no need to go out and buy expensive indicators some of the best indicators are free they're available on every trading platform the main thing is to, is to have a good broker a regulated broker so let's now go to the charts and let me just uh, where are we pull this up for you and so what we've got here as I mentioned is a Renko chart we're going to be looking at Renko charts now uh, the black dots you can see there they're just simply fractals uh, which I like for drawing my trend lines um, that's what I, these bigger dots is just a little tool just to letting me know when I get across a certain EMAs because what they signify I discovered accidentally some years ago when the 8 EMA crosses a 34 that identifies the exact time of a crossover or within one candle of a 50 CCI zero line crossover and we know that many traders use the 50 CCI as a trend directional tool when you're above the zero line you're looking for longs when you're below you're looking for shorts of course you're going to have areas of chop at times and of course these are easily identified by our EMAs moving sideways now 
let me just see if I've got this on another chart here what I want to just show you is let me just pull this up on another chart because I'm going to go and show you from the right hand side how we look for trades because anyone can go back and say oh yes it's here and here and here but you've got to learn to think like a pilot a pilot flying at night where he's reading the right hand side and I'll show you how to do that but what I wanted to show you here was an entry chart an anchor and an anchor chart anchor chart one and anchor chart two if you're a brand new chart trader initially having three charts may be a little confusing so you can just have your entry chart and your anchor chart one but as we go along we might kick over and have a look at that in more detail oh no I will open it up and show you uh, the other thing too is I'm recording this at uh, 343 in the afternoon my time down under and so we're during we're in what we call the Globex session now during the Globex session you can trade generally speaking much lower time frames for an example I've got a one tick Renko here so I've got an entry chart of one tick anchor chart one of two and an anchor chart so anchor chart one of two ticks anchor chart two of four ticks and that's a beautiful combination now each one of these little I call them steps okay is worth one tick so getting a six tick steps if you have your time your entries correct you can get a lot of them but what we're going to do is focus on the two tick for now which is slower and remember the time frame that you establish uh, is going to be dependent very much on your personality okay because some traders really like to think they like a lot more time others uh, like the trade or, or like their chart to move a lot quicker if you say in a scalper so what I'm going to do we're going to start by going through trade by trade but I'm going to go to the Globex open and let me just look at the bottom here and and the time in here this is central standard time okay so we're heading towards the end of the trading day so we'll start with the open of the Globex which is um, 1500 hours seven, 1700 my apologies so let's just quickly scroll along here getting very close let me just check that nearly there just looking down the bottom 1530 okay that's it I've marked that up there it is right there so we can see we had some chop there now by the way I want you to continually notice uh, um, my EMAs and the position that they're in yes EMAs are a lagging indicator as the majority of indicators are uh, this dash blue line by the way this is called a pivot it's actually called what we uh, a midline pivot which is the 50% level between standard pivots you must understand pivots and learn and it's perhaps we spent a lot of time in my coaching class how to trade pivot magnet trades that is selling into a pivot and how to trade the bounces of pivots okay so you've got pivot magnets uh, you can use them for longer term um, uh, trading there's a whole lot of ways and times to use pivots now there's some other very important pivots as well I call them pivots or price magnets which are EMAs on your higher time frames traders this is a, a concept that once you get your head around it will set you free financially and that is traders the markets are what we call fractal in nature meaning the same patterns you have set up on your entry chart will set up on your higher time frames likewise the EMAs particularly the 289 EMAs which is what they are are price magnets and they're incredible so you, you'll learn as we go along and of course if you become a member there are there are dozens of cheat sheets and training videos and I teach you all of this in the coaching so let's get this underway and let's go through step by step what I'm looking for for Globex market opens okay when the market first opens uh, usually I'm looking for about I'm just looking at the timing there the first three to five minutes I don't normally have a setup or if I get a setup I'm going to be more cautious now just here I now have an entry just here now what I want you to notice here traders is the angle of my EMAs 
Now this particular entry for any of my members watching, this is a 2B and I'm taking this entry because it still qualifies uh, within, within the first five minutes. Okay, so there's my super scalper. And by the way, traders, that white paint bar I call the super scalper is an idea I got off John Carter back in the 90s. Uh, now that will plot not until I get a down tick or an up tick above this candle here. Okay, so it is delayed by two candles. However, it identifies turning points. So when you've got a nice wide swing, etc., or divergence or a counter trend trade, it's it's invaluable. So I've now got an entry short. So what am I going to do here? I've got a couple of choices on my entry. I can either use a sell stop, which I uh, wouldn't do that time of day because it's still fairly slow. So I'm going to get in on the close of this second candle here and my stop will go one tick above the white candle. So what that means is traders, I'm going to have a five tick stop, which is 62.50 per contract. Now, if you're a new trader, or, or and I recommend it with all new traders that you start on the micros uh, because they model this model of uh, this uh, market virtually exactly and instead of twelve fifty a tick it's only a dollar twenty five uh, and yes it might take you a couple of months to get up and build your account and uh, but what it and let me just quickly show you this this is really so many traders lose a sight here so I'd recommend that you start with fourteen hundred dollars. Okay, if you're trading the uh, micro, okay, and let's just say your target there is forty dollars a day, only forty, which is the equivalent, by the way, of four hundred a day on the big contract. Yes, it's taken us here. It's taken us fourteen weeks to build our fourteen hundred up to six thousand, or it's taken us 33 weeks to get to an income of 33,000. Sorry, my apologies, of, of 10,000 a week. However, I know some of you are looking, but hang on, would we be trading 100 micros? No. Once you get up to around 10 or 11 micros, see here, you'd start trading the big contract. Because remember, a micro is 10% of the standard size. Once again, I spend a lot of time on this with new traders. So we're going to go short. What's our target? Well, my stop there is five ticks. I really want to go for ideally a minimum of six ticks. That's sort of the, the idea. And my apologies, my entry here, it's actually a seven tick target. Okay, 87.50. I'm thinking a lower time frame. It's actually uh, 87.50. So I really want to be going for at least seven ticks. Now, for my entry, I can. I could have also answered this as what we call a 34B on that first candle. We call that a rule of one entry. So I've got multiple um, opportunities to actually answer that. All right, so away we go. Now we call these steps. So once again, um, if we got in here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now once I get to six, I really want to go to um, uh, break even. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we touched eight, eight ticks there. Okay. Now even we're still going. Now, one thing too, in, in doing any back testing, what is important traders that you want to see um, uh, the candle tick through by one tick. A lot of platforms, if you trade in SIM, will show you touch it and it says you feel, well, that's not, not always true. All right. So now what have I got here right now? Well, I've actually got a little bit of divergence here, but I won't talk about those right now. All right, so what I'm looking for is another with trend trade. Now, so now I've actually got one right here. Now, I know that's a white candle, which means that I know what's happening in the next two candles ahead. But what you would actually see there is one red candle. Okay, and that is another 34B where you're allowed to enter on the first candle. And you also have a slingshot entry. Slingshot's been around since the year dot. Okay, once again, we're trading with the trend. Uh, here, if we enter using uh, what we call a rule of one, then my stop's only a maximum of six ticks. If I use a sell stop, if I enter and manage to get in on the close of this candle, and that's hard to do with Renko because, you know, the second one opens, um, that's why I like to use a sell stop. It means I'm going to have a stop of between five and six 
ticks, okay, between five and six, depends on my entry. So I really want to look at going to break even uh, with that. There, I want to get it go for a larger target. Uh, go to break even at four plus. Now, one thing I want to say too, and you'll hear me say this regularly, all right, now that only reached one, two, three, four. Now we went to break even and it touched plus five. So that's, you're only going to walk away with a couple of ticks out of that particular move traders. Okay. Uh, now what it's going to say is uh, one concept which day traders need to get their head around. You, we've got so many circle traders out there saying, um, go for your, you know, your, your two to ones, your 2% reward, one, one to one risk, etc. But at times traders, we need to take what the market will give us. And what I mean by that, if you're entering up here and you know your pivots down here, we've got to be ready for a pivot bounce. Okay, so quite often we'll exit the trade here and re-enter on, and that's not a good example, but re-enter on a divergence trade and we'll take the bounce. Uh, so at times if you've got, we've got to look at what's in front of us. Where are the pivots? Where are the major EMAs? Uh, um, um, where's the last swing high, swing low? These are all important facts. Now, what I've got right here now, traders, is now a little double bottom, okay? So we've got a double bottom just here, and I call those a T7, little bit of divergence. And when we have a double bottom, we what I'm looking for is do I have divergence on my anchor charts? That makes divergence trading extremely powerful. Now, I've already in this move, so I'm gonna take the punt that we do without going to the, the um, anchor charts. If I go across there, it shows me what's about to happen. I don't wanna see that yet. All right, so we're gonna enter on the close of a third candle. And my target here is the cyan. Now, I want you to write this down. Whenever we have what we call a 2D, which is what this is, we target the uh, cyan, which is my 89. If you've got um, a T19, which is your lowest uh, divergence, you've only got divergence on your entry chart, you target for 34. So when I've got a 2D, a stronger divergence trade, we target this point up here. All right, so one, oh, that's not good. One, two, three, four. Five. Now, see how we're now at this. I would have gone basically well and truly at break even because see the strength of a trend here. We nearly always will get, we'll either get a bounce here or at that level there. Oh, and there it is right there. Now, I don't have an entry yet. Even though it, that would show a red candle at this stage. Remember, the white paint bar doesn't appear until I get a down tick. It still change direction until my third candle here. Now, and the reason is when I have a deeper pullback, unlike my 34 Bs where I'm happy to enter here and I'm happy to enter here, because my EMAs are starting to usually level out because it's a deeper pullback, uh, I want to have three lower closes. So this is what we call a 2B. Um, with our, when we trade oil, We've got this little thing we do in the room at five by five, yes I can, three by eight, yes I can. And what that means is five trades a day by five ticks, which is our 34 Bs, and three by eights, which is our deeper pullbacks, which generally will lead to a larger move. They are three by eights, there, that'll give us 240 less commissions. That's 400 a day on oil, little thing we just have going to get in, in state. Okay, so we're going for a larger target. now. In entering this, my stop is one tick above. So in total, I've got an eight tick stop, which is $100 here. We've got to get past this little swing low. Remember, this is the open of the Globex session. So we're now at the lows. Okay, now away we go. Okay, a couple of things that we can't see here is where is my pivot? And this is very, very important traders. You want to know, I'm just going to pull this up and see if we can see where the pivot is. It's still got a fair way to go down here. Now what we do at the start of the day, we take a screenshot so we know where the pivot levels are. This is very, very important. You know where your pivots are. So we still got plenty of room. Now in coming down to a pivot, rarely do we come down in one big move. We usually what we call stair step down. 
okay so usually you're going to stair step on your way down but when you're coming from the uh, and I think was that yellow down I can't remember now uh, when you say come from the R1 down the floor pivot you've got about a 92% chance of coming down and hitting that likewise when you were going against the pivot, what was once support becomes resistance so these are also pivot bounce trades so coming down coming down coming down as we come down we're reading our MACD okay and what am I looking for normally of course I'd have the three charts open and I would be looking for divergence on multiple charts now here I've, I can only see the one chart so I'm only going to assume traders that we've got divergence on this chart so this is what I call a T19 um, uh, and it's a very deep move so we've probably got divergence on the anchor charts but let's just say we go for our six ticks here right so one two three four five six okay so I've got six ticks we're out I'm level now what am I looking for well I'm going to be looking for another trend trade with trend trade look at the strength of a trend uh, I'm reading my instruments now even though indicators most are lagging they really the, the predictive indicators really is your floor pivots they're predictive uh, and with your EMAs if you trade them correctly so as we come back here traders what I'm looking at here is on my anchor charts what's happening on the uh, 34 89 and 200 on the higher time frames why because you get price bounce now right there what have I got just here I've got a 2b just there now a 2b is where I get a multiple bounce now remember I'd enter um, uh, on the close of a third and here I'm after eight ticks one two three now here I touch four now uh, I think I know what's going to happen now I'm probably going to get stopped on this because what we've got here is a little a b C and for any members watching you know what you got there you've got a t10 as well all right so you can see there you got your t10 now that particular trade if I had divergence on a higher time frame these are much uh, so please put me down for a loss here I've had a couple of nice winners um, but and here but this is a loss now it is now what about you may say what about stop and reverse then well the challenge can be is sometimes we stop and reverse um, just here uh, you can still get a double top we may even get I suspect we're going to get a bounce up here we'll see in a moment almost certainly we'll get a what we call we call it a 200 B well actually it's an 89 B All right and see how I've got divergence here so I've got a slightly higher high but this is why um, I don't like to stop and reverse if I'm going to get stopped I'm getting stopped okay I wasn't stopped until here anyway uh, and if I've had stopped and reverse if you do it on your dome you nearly always are going to get a couple of tick slippage anyway so now I've got another re-entry so same rules apply we're going to take this short and let's just talk about targets again I want to go for a minimum of eight ticks which is $100 and we want to look over here here's my previous swing low now remember we do have a pivot down here somewhere All right once again I don't have the graph normally I'd show you a screenshot so I've got it listed so I know where my pivots are because they're magnets so one two three four five six seven eight nine now well there you can see it eight would be out um, now I've got a re-entry by the way that is what we call right there a rule of one okay that's what we call a rule of one I want you to notice here what's happening with the EMA see how they went sideways for a little but note the stacking the order watch this little here what you've got to watch is this see this here because when you're trading traders that you can quite often um, uh, get what we call a big picture double top a big or a double bottom I should say in this case that's where when you look at your anchor chart it's really close but on your lower time frame sometimes it can even be off screen where you get a really nice high probability trade well look at that now that ain't magic right now if 
and because we're running out of time let's do this okay I want to show you this because this is really important okay so let me just mark that up right there and let me, let me just so we don't lose our spots I know exactly where that was I want to look at the anchor charts so let's have a look now where are we just back here Now, why isn't that? Let me just do something here. Sometimes it can play up here. Oh, so it's about 1900, little trade station glitch here. Let me just check, what have I got it on? This is, aha, okay, so let's do this. All right, so see this here. This is where trading becomes, once you understand the rules, incredibly uh, easy because these are patterns that we see in the market every day. See here, so it's really easy to see this little double bottom. See that there? Okay, there's my divergence. Now, this is a very, this is called a zero lag MACD. And, I, and as a member, you get the exact same settings to use it on any MACD. You don't use this one because this is, if it got trade station, I'll give you this. But with a standard MACD, there's a different setting you use. That's divergence a little bit, but over here on the highest time frame, I got divergence. But what I want you to notice is, look what I'm also bouncing on. I'm bouncing off for 200. Okay, so I've got a double bottom. Uh, we've got a 1, a 2D. We are going to take this trade. Every day of the week, we want to take this trade. Now, away we go. Now, remember what I said about one, two, one or two Ds, we target the cyan as a minimum. Okay, see some profit taking. Now, where's our next area of resistance? I know you can all see it right here. Bang, there it is again. Now, what's the bias of the market at this, trade, at this stage, traders? What can you see? The bias, obviously, we are in a downtrend. So what are we going to do? We're going to enter on the close of a third. Where's my last swing low? Down here. And we're stair-stepping down and bang, now I've got a triple bottom here. It's not so obvious when you look at your entry chart, particularly once you start to, and you'll see, I'll show you in a moment while I'm doing that, but particularly once you get over here, you can't really see it so obviously. Now, getting back to this, you would have gone long we were targeting the cyan. Now that's only one, two, three, four, five. You only touched six ticks and you get a reversal. Let's call that a break even trade. You, you probably would have got your commissions out of it at least, and maybe even two ticks. Remember, this is the globe session at this stage, and these strategies work even better during New York. Just didn't realize how quickly time was going to go. <laughs> it's going to keep going. Uh, so now I've got another short. Look at the bias. Now, because I do have to wrap this up. Remember what we call our pivot magnet trade and bang. Now, what do we expect at the pivot? Now that's actually what we call the floor pivot right there. When you get within four to six ticks in your trading with trend, that is where you sell into the pivot and it's called a pivot magnet because pivots are magnets for price action. Okay, now this pivot magnet I use is a third party uh, indicator, um, which members can go and buy for TradeStation and Trader for $199. I don't get a cent out of it. Uh, and you can also get the two smooth for the pair, or you just use the ones on, on your standard platform. I like this one because it gives me the, the midline. But I also show you how to drop in your midline. It's easy. Um, if you just want to use a standard platform without buying any additional indicators. So let's just finish off on this one. So now I get a pivot bounce, okay? And, well, now I do. Now, this is what we call a pivot overshoot. Have a look at this, and let's just see what it looks like on the anchor chart. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Okay, yep, it's slight over here because pivots, depending on the time frames you're using, can, can vary. Close enough is good enough. Now, we can see here I've got no divergence and really no divergence. Let me have a look at this right here. Now, bang, I've got divergence on the anchor chart too. 
traders, don't be fooled by the subtlety of these indicators. You get to learn to trust these impeccably. Um, uh, and they'll keep you out of a lot of losing trades. And once again, you can set these up on any platform and any standard indicator. You just got to use different inputs on these. Now, and the reason this is important, do I want to take this? Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go long here, okay? Because when I've got a 2D, it's a very high probability trade. Now, I should point out, okay, Look, with divergence trades, divergence trades are always going to be risky, okay? So it, what that means is I'm going to take what the market gives me, meaning I'm targeting here the cyan, all right? But once again, uh, we could bounce here because we are at the pivot, all right? Because once again, what was once support then becomes resistance, okay? So we're in on the third, close of a third one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we only touched seven ticks. I would have been out there on the first sign of stalling, quite frankly, their traders, absolutely out of there. Why? Because we, we are trading counter trend here, right? Now what we do have here is a short again. Maybe we'll just have a look at a couple more setups. We've got a bounce. Now I'll let you in a little secret here. I do get nervous when I'm at the pivot because this can very easily turn into a double bottom. Fortunately, we've got a bit of distance here or directly bounce or turn into an ABC here. So let's take it. Um, our, our entry actually would be now one, two, three, four, and we're after eight ticks. Five, six, seven, eight. That's 100. Nine. Now, we come down, we touch 10 ticks. Now, one thing I didn't mention is hitting the home runs because I did say in the PowerPoint here, um, it really is about how to, why scalp it? Well, we're scalping into pivots and I'll spend more in future um, uh, videos on this, but, and the day trade is really what we're looking at here. The home runs is what we're looking for with some of these um, larger moves and we trade the larger moves on the anchor charts. We enter on the entry chart and we go for the larger ones by using the anchor charts. Now, what have I got here? And um, Let's just make this the last one. Uh, okay, so what I do, let me just scroll along here. We're reading this. Bang, divergence. Do I get to further? Now note this you're just simply reading remember this is easy the markets this is one hour you've got tons of time okay so i've got even more divergence again here's my entry so we're going to go long okay uh, let me just make sure i've got the right spot here by the way no that's gone a bit further so uh what we've got here is a one yeah no that's a 2d my apologies i've gone a bit far there see how i've got divergence there divergence here where's my target the cyan now as you approach there if we break the cyan will go up to the 200 bang now I've got another short again now what I want to keep an eye on to is how many legs down I have how many major legs on the way down why and of course this is a short for us Where's our target? I'm targeting down here. Want to get past the pivot? Okay, so note here, we've now got, I oh know, we're now, now I've got a little bit of what we call an ABC setting up just there. Um, I'm not a big fan of these because I'll tell you why. Look at the strength. Well, in this case, let me, <laughs> let me explain why. Look at the strength of the EMAs here. I've got a very, very strong downtrend here. Now, one of the things we can do to prove up the strength of a trend is you can apply an ATR. Um, so I might go and use, say, an ATR, uh, and let me just apply here of 1.75, okay? So there's trend following indicators we can use here to keep us in some of these trades to pick up your home runs and now we've got a re-entry so traders look we, we are 10 minutes past um i want so we're now 40 minutes uh into this so look 
this ain't rocket science. All of this is reading patterns and Renko makes it so much easier. But what I will quickly show you here before we do go, what is important is learning to trade using also um, uh, your tick charts. Because, and let me just see, did I put that on global? I just want to make sure I've got, let me put that on global so I can pull the same, the exact same spot up, okay? So that's it there. And I want to show you this. This is where you'll start to see how tick charts play a role in this. So what I've got here, and we use different time frames. That's a bit high for that. Have I got the lower... No, I don't. normally during the Globex session, I'll trade an 89 tick. But the purpose of your tick charts is they'll show a lot of other patterns and double confirmations on divergence and things like that. So on this particular one, I don't have the 89. So you may notice I've got a 377, 987, and 2584, all fib numbers. You can just, uh, if you like, just use round numbers. 500, 1500, these are uh, the New York hour one so I'd normally use because what they do is they'll give you added confirmation on many of these entries it's a really nice added confirmation now very quickly as we finish off let's just go and have a quick look at what's happening here right now now look at this here see down here see this massive divergence there and divergence there and divergence there that's what we call a 3d now one little pain in the butt is your pivot I do expect to come up to the cyan here your entry would be on the close of a third so you've already ticked up five ticks okay so this is on a one tick chart you had an entry there you still would have been in that one entry there entry there and an entry here my target is the cyan just here little complication is your midline pivot and the reason being is that what was once support can then become resistance and it can actually signify a, a, a further fall to the short side now nearly everything I've shown you here traders is rules based okay so all of these um, are simply rules that we apply to our trading so in closing um, come along, become a member, 197, you get my coaching, lifetime access, free indicators, there's no other extras. Um, uh, it's the most comprehensive program that I know of for, for traders. All right, traders, we will finish up. Oh, and just one thing, we do have this bonus. Don't really forgot, you can also attend eight live coaching sessions. If you're unable to attend, yeah, you do get the recordings. So thank you, traders. I'll see you as a member or on the next video.